Hi. I'm making a video to talk about traces at the Montalban, uh, which is like a block and a half away from the Pantages. I got tickets to it because it's part of my season ticket pass from the Pantages. Um, and, you know, I didn't know anything about it, but I'm really glad I saw it. The tagline on the poster outside of the Pantages Theater says it's the unlikely marriage of Cirque du Soleil and Spring Awakening. And I was like, okay, because I've seen both Cirque du Soleil and Spring Awakening, and I thought it was just kind of, it, it was saying a lot to put those two names um, on a poster of another show. Um, but Seven Fingers, uh, the group that created the show, is insanely talented. In the playbill, they said something along the lines that struck me of uh, the individual artists come together uh, to perform with the awkward beauty and dexterity of a seven-fingered hand. And I felt like that was a really nice way uh, uh, to kind of encompass how, how these uh, artists all work together. Uh, the show was amazing, which if you've read any reviews about it, you have already heard that. Um, the acrobatic feats are insane. It makes you wonder a little bit why uh, Spider-Man can't pull it off, and these people do it every single night without wires, and uh, they're okay. Um, things I found interesting... There was very little dialogue in the show. Um, the plot is very abstract. And you feel a very intense connection with the actors, even though there's no plot or dialogue. Um, there's absolutely no fourth wall. They, they seem to look straight into your eyes directly when they're looking out at the audience sometimes. So um, The lights never dim completely. The house lights are sort of um, halfway on during the whole performance. You get the feeling uh, that it's a story of like a media-obsessed world on the eve of an apocalypse. It mixes things like war and reality television together, making for like a dramatic portrait of today's society. I don't really want to go into the, the plot that it does have because one, it's not super important, and two, I think it really takes away from the show if you know too much about it before going in to see it. Art direction was stunning. It has that intense simplicity that Spring Awakening has. Um, costumes are simple. The set is simple and doesn't change during the show. Um, but you get a very raw, spooky, desperate feeling from it. So the art direction does a successful job at portraying what it wants to without being overly complex, which is always my favorite thing when it comes to theater. Uh, it's open until the 13th, and Russia's only $25. I would highly recommend seeing it. Um, I'm trying to get Adriana to go sometime this week and see it. It's nothing you're going to forget anytime soon, and uh, it's, it's really a, a beautiful, stunning, spectacular performance.